Hi, I'm Kimberly Schneiderman, Senior Practice Development Manager at Rise Smart, here with your weekly tip. We often marvel at the creativity of children. They don't limit themselves to what is possible. They simply assume that everything is possible and therefore their ideas and imagination can take them anywhere they want to go. Fun, faraway places. For adults, thinking creatively is a bit tougher. We know the limitations of science and technology. We understand the influences of society, financial markets, and even laws. And besides, our daily work may not include or require a whole lot of creative thinking. But the tough part comes in when we are faced with new unfamiliar challenges like a job search or career transition. Thinking creatively seems like a good idea. We just need some ideas on how to make that happen. How can you think more creatively? How can you tap into that side of your brain that comes up with new ideas? Try some of these exercises. The first idea is 30 circles. This exercise from Bob McKinn is fun and simple. Draw 30 circles of the same size on a piece of paper. You can even download a template here. Set a timer for three minutes. And during this three minutes, draw as many pictures as you can using the circles. Anything goes. There's really no limit to your options. At the end of the three minutes, look at what you've created. Look how creative you've been in just three minutes. As you try this over and over again, you'll find yourself loosening up your ideas of what's possible and getting even more creative. And here, at this website, you can see what other people have created. If I could, I would brainstorming is another good exercise. Think about what you would do if there were no limits on you. Again, set that timer for three minutes or five minutes or even more. Identify a situation that you would like to change. Now, write as many sentences as you can, starting with the phrase, if I could, I would. Be sure to keep your ideas positive or at least neutral. At the end of the minutes, look at your ideas. While some ideas that you wrote down might be pie in the sky, unattainable ideas, open your mind to the ones that you could actually complete with a little bit of adjusting. Which ideas could actually be executed? The next exercise is exercise. Exercise seems to fit into so many self-help topics, doesn't it? The reason is that the positive effects of exercise go beyond simple health improvements. It has been shown to help people think more creatively and in fresh new ways about problems that they're trying to solve. So, get moving. The final idea is to use the magic wand versus total constraints exercise. Get that timer back out. For the next six minutes, think about having a magic wand to solve all the problems that you are facing. What would you create? What would you do? Who would you reach out to and have a conversation with? What would you want to make happen? The sky's the limit. Now, while this part of the exercise sounds like the aforementioned brainstorming exercise, we're going to take it one step further. Next, set the timer again. This time, think about what you could do with total constraints on you. That is, limited time, resources, money, anything. What is the least or the most minimal idea you could carry out even with all of those constraints in place. When you really put your mind to thinking about these ideas and jotting down things that come to you, you'll come up with fresh new ideas for your job search, for your career transition, or for any problem that you're trying to solve. Research tells us that there are benefits to thinking creatively, stress reduction, new approaches to old problems, exchanges of ideas with others, and even financial savings. Give these ideas a shot to help you develop a new approach and perhaps bring some new energy to your career transition. Now that's thinking creatively. Thank you for joining me for this week's tip. And for more ideas in your job search, be sure to tune in to this week's webinars.